7 a.m. waking up in the morning, gotta be fresh, gotta go downstairs, gotta have my bowl, gotta have cereal, seeing everything, the time is going, ticking on and on, everybody's rushing, gotta go down to the bus stop, gotta go to, gotta see my friend, shit, I don't remember the words. 7 a.m. waking up in the morning, gotta be fresh, gotta go downstairs, gotta have my bowl, gotta have cereal, seeing everything, the time is going, ticking on and on, everybody's rushing, gotta go down to the bus stop, gotta catch my bus, is that the word? I see my friends, kicking in the front seat, sitting in the back seat. Hello, if you joined, hello, one second, um, I am currently trying to put this in my Discord, at everyone i am live streaming drop what you are doing shit i spelled it wrong one second one sec i'll look at the chat in a second 7 a.m waking up in the morning gotta be fresh gotta go downstairs gotta have my bowl gotta have cereal seeing everything the time is going ticking on and on everybody's rushing all right let's go new vid this is not a new vid doo doo fart this is not a new vid this is a live stream there is something different evan hello hez x yo i live in the uk nazi guy says cool i live in the united states of america i am there for a giga chat i'm attracted to you well that is absolutely no surprise if you're new here then you might find that to be a surprise but i am literally scientifically attractive to every woman and man on the planet Yo, I DM'd you this idea. Jong Sina, I've had this idea for a very long time. Um, Assalamu alaikum. And I'm in El Iraq. And I'm in El Iraq. Ah, that's it. They're good. Let's go. Good stream. Wesh, wesh, la street. Assalamu alaikum. Vous allez bien ou quoi, wesh? Tout est bien? Kaku vastila. I'm currently in the bath watching your live stream. That is the best thing I've ever heard in my life. Guys, today we are going to be doing a language learning tier list. If you look here on the left, you will see that the categories are already speak, learning, already plan to learn, want to learn, would be cool, maybe, or nope. And we've got a ton of flags here representing ton of, tons of languages. There have to be 500 or so here. And I don't know what half of these flags are, so you're, you're going to have to help me with that. But I think that this is going to be really telling, not only for me as a language learner, but for you guys as language learners, because I want to know what you guys have to say. But... This is important for me because this might decide my future, right? I might I might figure something out that could drive my desire to study a language in the future or to quit or to try to forget something I've already learned. This this is big. Wallah, your Arabic is muito, muito, muito gostoso. Brigadão. Bolsonaro é muito gostoso. Ele não sou muito gostoso. 500 or so, El Mayo. Yeah, there's probably 500 or so languages here. Flags are the best way to represent languages. I would agree 100%. I'll give you a perfect example why. China has no other languages aside from Mandarin. That is a fact. Can you speak Lingala? Yes. If you don't speak Lingala in the United States, you're fucking lost. Where can I buy that merch you got on right now? There's a link in the description, my friend. Although, the website that sells them, the creators do not make much money at all. So, if you actually want to wear the shirt, buy it. But if you just want to give me money so I can buy Coco Krispies... Then you should just donate on live or something. Kennst du Deutsch? Yeah, 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 yeah. Weiss is nicht. Laughs in Cantonese. Cantonese does not exist. Prove me wrong. Can you speak Quebecois? Did colis de tabarnak? All right, guys. We're going to start this tier list very, very soon. I'm just waiting for people to join and just saying hello to everyone in the meantime. So feel, fr feel free to type whatever you want and I will try to respond to most things that I see here. Ti harisho paruski gavarish kseti. Спасибо за комплимент, чувак. More Omegle French video, please. They are coming. Omegle trolls will come. Do not be worried. Lingala is the best language. We'll see if it's on this tier list. I don't think it is. Unless, I don't know a few of these flags. Maybe this is Lingala. Maybe this is Lingala. Or maybe this is Lingala. I'm not sure what any of those flags are, so help me. Don't respond to this message. Shit. Shit. I presume Albanian flag equals, equals Albanian sign language. Uh, I'm assuming that they mean the spoken language, unfortunately, because I actually do speak Albanian sign language, but I do not speak Albanian. Hey, if you're just joining, thank you so much for clicking on this video slash live stream, whatever you're clicking on. Today, we're going to be doing this tier list. These are languages that I want to learn. So languages I already speak, that I'm learning, 
that I plan to learn, that I want to learn, would be cool, maybe, and nope. We're going to start in about three minutes on the clock here. It says 4.37. I'm doxing myself. I'm on the east coast of the United States of America, the greatest country on the planet after Liberia and Myanmar, who are also countries that use the American systems of measurement. Can you say something in Polish? Cześć. Kona setatu. Whoever is asking me for Irish, kona setatu. Uh, can you do one unironic video? Just honestly introduce yourself. What got you into languages? Why you speak? I have never even been ironic, so I don't know what the hell you're talking about. You are learning Danish? Yeah, 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 Dansk. For den har du day. East, west. Uh, Reke. For den har du day. Nederlands. Ah, explain Nederlands, marker. My friend lives on the west coast. Dirt, po pogo, PvP. That is the coolest thing I've ever heard in my life. That is awesome. I'm in Denmark. There's like at least 600,000 Denmark people right here watching. That's crazy. I don't understand American. You don't make any sense. I am so sorry. I can slow down if you want. S'il te plaît, réponds ton accent français. Je l'adore. Merci beaucoup. C'est très, très, très gentil. How can you call yourself a hyper gigachad polyglot if you don't speak sign language? If you can speak a sign language? I don't know what you're saying. I speak Albanian sign language. just means hello. All right. Two more minutes until I start the tier list. For anyone who's joining, I'm sorry, I'm beating a dead horse for anyone who's been watching this for a few minutes, but I just want to make sure everyone understands that this tier list is not like the best languages on the planet. This is just going to be my preferences of what I want to learn or do not want to learn. So we've got already speak, learning, already plan to learn, want to learn, would be cool, maybe, nope. Anything that goes in that nope category, I'm just saying right now, guys, this is technically only my personal opinion. So don't get pissed. Okay? Assalamu alaikum. I give you all peace. Assalamu alaikum. This is when you say, repeat after me. Wa alaikum salam. Okay? We're going to try it again, all right? Assalamu alaikum. And now I'm going to count down and you're going to repeat it. You're, no, you're not going to repeat it. You're going to say, wa alaikum salam. Okay? Three, two, one, go. Shukran. Shukran, Habibi. Habibji. Min win enta. And I'm in El Iraq. All right, let's do it one more time. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum salam. You've got to get the ein, the ein. And then, all right, let's do a little, let's do a little exercise for those who struggle with the ka, ka sound. You know, because we've got the ein. Let's do the ka. You have to do this too to pronounce it properly. That's what I found when I was in Iraq. No, I wasn't in Iraq. That makes me sound like I was in the army or something. I was not. I'm just saying. I, all right, never mind. And then I'm in Iraq. All right, practice. Repeat after me. Anna, Anna, Min, El, Iraq. Anna, Min, El, Iraq. All right. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum salam. All right, it is 440 on the east coast of the United States. So I'm going to start. Holy shit, this is really nerve-wracking because I'm going to probably offend a lot of people here, but already speak, learning, already plan to learn, want to learn, would be cool, maybe, nope. I've got to keep these all in mind so that I rank these fairly. Is there a way to, like, randomize these? I don't really want to go in this order. Uh, if I reset, uh, I don't know. All right, whatever. Let's just, uh, I'm just going to, I'm not looking, I'm just going to kind of, like, shuffle these around a little bit so I can have a new order because I feel like I've spent too much time just looking at the uh, Albanian flag for a while. So guys, when I when I go on to a new one, I want I want to like have a little discussion about it. I want I want to know what you guys have to think about it, and and then like I'm not gonna let that influence my decision. Well, maybe if you if you give me good points, but I want to in general have. I want to come up with my response myself. All right, let's start. Here we are. Rank them in chronological order. What the hell does that mean? All right, let's start with the first one, guys. What the hell is this flag? Is this Estonian? Can someone confirm that this is Estonian? I actually do not know. I am not flag simp. I am language simp. This is Estonia, right? All right. I see I see at least one person said Estonia. Candy Kaz. Estonia. All right. All right. A lot of people are saying that this is the Estonian flag. Beautiful. All right. What do I think of Estonia, honestly? So, I, I mean, I'm not bad at geography, right? So, this is that country, that small little third country next to that makes it sound bad i don't i mean like it looks like one not that it is like one but it's right next to russia up there in the northeast aren't there like 500,000 speakers last time i checked there were like 500,000 speakers of estonian i think it's in the same language family as finnish if i'm not mistaken but 
they created Skype. Yeah, I'm aware of that. But what's the other point of have one million? Okay, you guys are telling me that there's one million Estonian speakers. Ah, uh, I, I'm not gonna lie, guys. I have to be honest here. This is a nope. I have no desire to ever learn Estonian in my life. I hope that no one here are from Estonia. This is literally East Finnish. That's a perfect way to put it. My own computer stuff. You're a genius. East fit it. East Finnish. Oh, so this is finished without vowel harmony. Yeah, what the hell? We don't want that. Why would we learn some? Why would we learn like downgraded dog water finish? So Estonian equals dog water finish. Finish. Let's go to finish now. I don't know how new you all are to my channel, but we did just finish a month of Finnish study. So I have studied Finnish for a month, and I have to report back to you guys and say that Finnish is a difficult language. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, it's cool though. It's very interesting. And after this challenge, I will not be continuing studying Finnish every day. I apologize. Olet vitun velho. Olet vitun velho, Hari. Perkele. My vocab is very enriched after a month. I seriously speak Finnish better than any Finn that I've ever met in my life. I've never met a Finn. So I can say that. But I don't know, guys. Finnish. It would be cool, honestly. It 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 was a cool language to study for sure. It it's got cool sounds, it's got cool culture. It sounds cool and it's not too difficult. Grammatically it's got some difficult parts, but it's not it's not that difficult in all honesty. The pronunciation is very straightforward. It's phonetically written, which is really nice. There's not that much content for it, but there were a few good YouTubers for it, so I could see myself one day potentially learning it but it's definitely not something i actively want all right you guys are gonna have to help me with this flag is this slovenia or something i don't even know slovenia can someone tell me what this is croatian oh <laughs> dude i told you i'm not good at flags don't roast me how are you guys all so good at that like, how do I just get 30 replies instantly saying that it's Croatia? That doesn't make any sense. You guys are absolute geniuses. All right, I'm getting some comments. Croatian is weird Polish. What do you guys think of Croatian? I don't know that much. I feel like the only Croatian that I've heard is literally Steve Kaufman. Which, don't get me wrong, Steve Kaufman is a Giga Chad. But, I don't know. Croatian, what do you guys think? My guy doesn't know flags, RIP. Hey, don't be mean. I'm an American. It's useful because it covers multiple countries. Yeah, it's like Serbo-Croatian, right? Steve Kaufman is a very attractive guy, I agree. It's Russian with a pitch accent and more Turkish vocabulary. I'm, I'm not going to lie. Nothing pulls me towards Turkish except the, or towards Croatian. My bad. It's got like a really long shape on the coast and I think it stole a lot of coasts from I don't know Texas or another country over there so I'm not gonna lie it's a nope I have to be strict it doesn't look like there's any Croats in here so I'm not gonna piss anyone off there are a lot of languages here so I'm gonna start going a little faster someone tell me what this flag is I have literally no idea what this is I hope none of you know this because this is like I've never seen this flag in my life Basque how the hell do you guys know what flat? How how the hell do you guys know what that is? Basque? What even is Basque? Is that something in France? Isn't it? Isn't it in France? Isn't it like a? Is it a Romance language? Mix a pays Basque. Qu'est-ce que ça veut dire? J'ai aucune idée. What the hell is a Basque? It's in Spain. Ah, es como el español, no? El castellano, no? Cuéntame sobre el Basque. El Basque. ¿Cómo se dice en español? No tengo ni puta fucking idea, amigos. Que Basa, what the hell is a Basque? Um, no, you've been there, Idion. Is it cool? It's the ultimate Chad language. Nothing related. It has nothing to do with Spanish. It's a language isolate. Oh, Basco, Basco. Ah, okay, I've heard that before. El idioma se llama Basco. It's called Basco in Castellano. No digo español porque yo hablo castellano. Es un idioma completamente diferente, amigos. Okay. All right. 
I have no idea where it is. It has something to do with Spain, but it also doesn't, according to my chat. I have... Uh, but I have to say maybe, because I don't know enough. What if I fell in love with it? What if I, like, went there and I heard people speak in it, and I was like, shit. All right, what's this one, guys? Is this Hungary? I think this is Hungary. It's very difficult, you guys are saying, about a uh, Basque. I guarantee that's bullshit. I'm literally a hyper polyglot giga chat alpha male. All right, Hungary. I am not going to lie. I studied Hungarian for like a year and a half. No, not a year and a half. Like a, like for a few days, a year and a half ago. It's cool. It's cool. It would be cool. I have not much else to say. What do you guys have to say about it? It's... It's cool, but it's too difficult for what it gives you. You know, some... I think it's in Europe. There aren't that many people who speak it. I don't really see the point. You're very attractive when you speak French. Speak some French. I can't. I'm actually talking about Hungarian right now. A year and a half to a few days. <laughs> yeah, I misspoke a little. Impossible to learn. Ryan, I see your messages. That is very inappropriate. Um... Uralic language. So is it like Finnish? Can someone tell me? I have no idea. What do I look like? A linguist? It has 80 noun cases? There is no way. You're, you're capping. Straight cap. Can someone confirm? Does Hungarian have 80 freaking noun cases? I don't believe you. All right. What is this one? Oh, this is... Is this... Is this... Is this Bulgaria? I think this is Bulgaria. I just need to get some confirmations that this is Bulgaria before I can officially... um. Okay, it is Bulgaria. Bulgaria? Holy shit. Holy shit, guys. I can't say I'm already planning it. It's not on my, like, my early, um, my, er like, my, my early schedule. Someone asked me if I'm drinking bubbly today. I ran out of bubbly. I'm going to the grocery store after this stream. Let me add bubbly to my list. I want to learn Bulgarian. Asim Bulgarski. Asim Bulgarski. Asim Bulgarski. Does anyone from Bulgaria understand that? I'm adding sparkling water to my list of what I want to what I want to eat at the grocery store today. One sec. Um, dude, Bulgarian is so cool, and I'll tell you guys why. Bulgarian is like Russian, except it's so freaking easy. Like, there are no cases in Bulgarian. There are no cases. There are like the definite pronouns, like in Spanish and French and shit. No noun cases, but it's in the cool scrib uh, scri scribbly alphabet that looks kind of like the American alphabet, but they call it the Cyrillic alphabet. And it, so it's written in the Cyrillic alphabet, but no cases. So it's easy as shit. And Bulgaria is a gigachad country, 100%. I hope that that's not a, I hope that that's a, I hope that that's a good take. I hope you guys agree. Could be popular. Icelandic. Icelandic. I know this flag, guys. Icelandic. I don't think I would ever learn Icelandic. I'm learning Danish right now, right? And Icelandic is relatively similar. But I don't think that I would ever study it, honestly. But it's probably not a nope. It would be cool because no one does it, but it's still relatively easy. I'm going to put would be cool. Because think about it, guys. After I'm really fluent in Danish, we all know that I will never, and I repeat, never touch Norwegian or Swedish in my life. I will never touch those languages. You will see that I will put those in the nope category faster than you could say it's nerf or nothing. So, dead ass, Icelandic would kind of be that nice place where like, all right, it's been a few years with Danish, I'm kind of bored, but I want to go freaking Shalma NYC, uh, shock local ice sculptures with my perfect Icelandic. I would absolutely learn Icelandic. It would be cool. This is this is Bosnia. I know that. So I'm not bad at flags. They just gave me some of the weird ones at the start. I'm not bad at flags. Bosnia. <sighs> Let's see. Bosnia. I have no desire. I, I seriously have never thought of, of Bosnian. I have literally never thought of Bosnian. Your mic is moving and making noises, bro. All right. Let me stop moving it. One second. All right, tell me if my mic is moving. I'm going to stop touching it. I can't stop touching it. Hands off. My hands are off. All right, so Bosnian. It's the same as Serbian, you're saying? 
All right. Well, the only thing that I know about Bosnia, and I know that there, it's a, like a, I think it's a Muslim country, right? Bosnia and Herzegovina. There's a lot of Muslims there, and I love Islam. It's really like interesting. Um, I have a lot of Muslim friends and stuff, and like I love saying Assalamu Alaikum. So if they say Assalamu Alaikum, then that'd be really cool. So I'm considering putting this. Mm, I'm gonna say maybe. I don't want to say outright nope, but just because I think it's got Islam, which is kind of interesting, because it's like in Europe, but it's got like Islam as the primary language. Tell me if I'm wrong, but that kind of makes it that kind of makes it cool and unique. I think they don't say Assalamu Alaikum, but if I said Assalamu Alaikum to someone in Bosnia, what would they do? I don't know. All right, let's move on to the next one. I'm assuming this means Hindi. Already plan to learn. That's the first one. There's no way that I go the next few years of my life without learning Hindi. You can take a screenshot of this moment or whatever. You can write this down in a video or however you do it. I don't know how you write things down or capture moments. Screen record. Or there'll probably be a VOD of this. Hindi is awesome. There are literally 2,000 billion speakers of it in India. And there's like, I think last time I checked, there's like 170 million of them in the United States. 600 million of them alone in New York. And 50 million in my state, which I can't say. But I want to move to India, honestly. Not forever, but I want to live in India just to get Chad pilled on Hindi. Shock natives with a GoPro attached to my head, make everyone feel as awkward as possible and make a lot of YouTube ad revenue. So Hindi, 100%, already planned to learn, no questions asked. Let's look at Farsi now. Farsi, want to learn. We don't have to go over this for too, for too long, honestly. Some of these languages, it's pretty easy. Farsi, Iran, super cool. They're kind of referred to as our enemies in the United States. It's just for some toxic government shit. Y'all already know that, you know? Their government hates us. We hate them. But like the people, we, the, the Americans don't actually hate Iranian people. And Iranian people don't actually hate us either. So it's just cringe. Cringe government shit. But everything government shit is, is cringe. And honestly, Steve Kaufman posts about political issues on Twitter all the time. If you're not following him, I don't know what the hell you're doing. Farsi's cool, written in the, in the Arabic American script. And... So it's got the squiggly lines and it's written right to left, but it's a European language or some shit. So it'd be pretty interesting. I will learn it in the future. What do, what do you guys think? Fais attention language Vladi Daddy et derrière toi. Ah, putain. All right, let's move on to the next one. French. Je parle français, les gars. Moi, je parle français. Je suis un hyper polyglot giga chad. Vous voyez le t-shirt? Je suis un hyper polyglot giga chad. Et tout a commencé avec le français, en fait. C'était la première langue étrangère que j'avais apprise au début de euh, mon apprentissage des langues étrangères en général. Et si vous comprenez le français, dites-moi dans les commentaires. Putain, bah, j'arrive pas à parler français. Il y a trop de monde qui me regarde. Wesh la street. Oui, 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 baguette. Omelette du fromage. Mec, t'es pas un hyper polyglot giga chad solo. Et es un nerd online, MDR Quoi de la fuck, Enrique Javier? Holy crap. I already speak French. I don't know if you guys knew that. Je parle français. Je parle français. Je mange une baguette. Pas maintenant, mais euh, je le fais régulièrement. Tous les jours. Le matin. Quand je me réveille. Vous comprenez ce que je vous dis? Who understands me? Tell me. J'ai peur de Vladi Daddy derrière toi. You're afraid of Vladi Daddy? I'm sorry. L'accent pire? Le mien? T'es pas trop gentil, wesh. Pas français, mais québécois. Moi, je parle français de France, wesh. Marine Le Pen, elle va gagner ou pas? Je comprends pas. Le système politique en France, j'arrive pas à le comprendre, en fait. J'ai aucune idée de ce qui se passe là-bas. Oh la vache. Oh la putain de vache de Macron démission de wesh la street. Representing languages with flags is really dumb. Uh, that is a beta mindset. Let's move on. French, I've exhausted it. J'ai épuisé l'étendue de mon français, les gars. Votez Macron. Je suis pas trop politique, moi. Albanian. All right, so I don't know if you guys know this, but if this is Albanian sign language, I speak it. But if this is the regular Albanian language, 
I don't really know it. Albanian is a language isolate in Eastern Europe. And I once I, I once knew a girl from Albania and she said a few things to me and it was kind of attractive. So do I wanna say ah it would be cool. What do you guys think? Are there any Albanian speakers here? Albanians are based. See, I don't know anything about those Albanian like political memes and shit because I see that shit all the time online. People always like like based Albanian pilled like I don't know all these like YouTube videos and my recommended stuff about Albanian memes. I don't get it. Are they at war or some shit? I actually do not know. It would be cool though, just because it's a language isolate. They have a Giga Chad flag. It's not as isolated as Basque. Are you freaking serious? I had to put maybe for Basque because I literally never heard of it. Well, I he I've heard of it, but. I thought it was in Spain. It's because of Kosovo. That makes sense. That's Dua Lipa land, I think, right? Isn't she from there? Okay, let's move on. I have no idea what this is. Someone tell me what this is. Yellow and red? No, I'm going to close my eyes and think about this while you guys are telling me what this is. Let me think. Yellow and red. I'm not looking at the chat yet because I, I can see it moving out, out the corner of my eyes. Oh, yellow, red. Just lines like that. I've never seen in my life. New Mexico. McDonald's? Oh, Catalan. Oh, of course I know that. Okay. Catalan. Catalan. How do you pronounce that? In Espanol, se dice Catalan, no? Pero en inglés, in Americano, no tengo ni puta idea, amigos. Okay, Catalan is like a mixture between French and Spanish. I mean, French and Mexican. And I have actually heard it before, and I have reddited it. Like, I readed it online. And I can kind of read it already, because if you know French and Mexican, it's not difficult at all. But, uh, and, and it's almost one of those things, like, I met this one GigaChat hyperpolyglot online once on Omegle, and there's a video on his channel of us, um, of us, talking and he speaks like so many romance languages really fluently so we talked for a while and he spoke things like catalan and stuff like that i just said it with a brazilian accent kind of but maybe because if i did go on this spree of learning every romance language on the planet i don't think that i would start with that one i think that i would spend many more years on like italiano e romanesti and stuff like that so all right this is czech Yaksemash. This is Czech. I know that because I had a friend who studied Czech. Do you guys like the Czech language? Please tell me what you think about Czech. Czeski. Czeski Republica. Czeski, Czeski Yzik. Ahoy, Yaksemash. Mam se dobrze. It's bad. I've got some no's, yeses, nice. You can't pronounce Czech. I can't pronounce Czech. Polish is better. It's cute. Czech's based. Czech's based. Beer. Macedonia on top. Um, Slavs are funny. Slavs are cool. Uh, Czech is easy Polish. It has a lot of cases, but it's written in the American alphabet, which makes it a lot easier. Uh... So here's the thing, guys. I want to learn more Slavic languages, and I don't want them to be languages in the Russian alphabet with a bunch of cases again, because that's just too much to keep track of at one time, I feel like. I, mean, I could do it in the future, but the next one or two Slavic languages that I do are definitely going to be written in the American alphabet, or they're going to be Bulgarian, which is written in the Russian alphabet, but no cases. So I'm going to throw check a would be cool i know that we're building up this would be cool column already but um i think that would be interesting someone's asked me to move the estonian flag to maybe i can't i i have no desire to learn estonian my friend i'm really sorry <gasps> what is this one dude it's got the islamic crescent that means it's already gonna be cool can you guys tell me what this one is it's got the moon and the star when the moon hits the star like a big pizza pie that's a muslim country Friday, Azbekistan? What is that? Azerbaijan! Oh! We're going to the Caucasus. Azerbaijan, dude. Let's go. 
All right, what do we think of Azerbaijan? So it's a Muslim country, it appears, by the shape of this uh, moon here. I don't know much about the language. I think it's written in a weird alphabet. It's not the American alphabet. Can someone correct me if I'm wrong? How, uh, how's the uh, Azerbaijani language written? It's almost the same as Turkish. If I was going to learn a language that's like Turkish, why wouldn't I just learn Turkish? Someone's saying, I can speak it. It's very difficult. All right, here's a quick little rant. Whenever someone says that their own language is difficult, I never believe them. I will never, ever believe them because, like, like you don't know. You didn't learn it. You, you grew up as a kid. Like, any kid could learn any freaking language on the planet. Like, you set a kid next to the El Quran, and they're going to speak Arabic in, like, a day. You set a kid next to La Biblia en Español, he's going to speak Spanish. I mean, Mexican, in, like, a day. I don't know how. But Azerbaijani, uh, I'm going to say nope. Honestly, I just, I have to be honest, guys. Like, I can't, I can't just gas up all these languages that I won't ever learn. I don't think that I would learn Azerbaijani unless I had, like, a, a, a girlfriend or something from Azerbaijan. Or if I became, like, really interested in that part of the earth and I started to learn all those related languages or something. That would be cool as well. All right. Let's move on. Um, Belarusian. I know this flag. It's a nope. I'm not going to lie. I have no desire in learning Belarusian. Everybody in Belarus already speaks Russian. And there aren't that many speakers of it. It's written in this Cyrillic script and, I mean, the Cyrillic script. And it literally has like 600 trillion cases. So I don't see why I would spend time studying that. And yeah, like uh, Manticorus just said in the chat... Even Belarusians don't speak Belarusian in Belarus. I've heard that as well. They speak Russian. В Беларуси говорят по-русски. Да, Глеб. Ты прав, ты прав. And it's a dictatorship. Lukashenko or whatever. So I'm not interested. Danish, 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 Danish. Jajleadensk. Guten Tag. Jajleadensk. Det var tre måneder. Tre måneder. Jeg kan ikke så godt forstå dansk, men... I can rigtig, rigtig godt lide at, at, at lære dansk. Fordi jeg kan godt lide... Det, det bløde de. Det bløde de er rigtig smukt. Synes jeg. Kan du forstå mig, hvis uh, du er dansk? Jeg snakker ikke så godt. Men jeg elsker, elsker, elsker dansk. Jeg elsker Danmark. Jeg vil flytte til Danmark. What do you guys think? I think your Danish is awesome after all. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Garbage language? Who the hell said that? Det bløde de. Det bløde de. Det bløde de. Oh, Eobard Thon, thank you so much for the five doll hairs. Any tips on sh um, structuring sentences in Spanish? I struggle to learn simple sentences. Um, yeah, I'll give you a quick tip. When you want to learn new things in Spanish, don't focus on don't focus on creating sentences off the cuff, like um, just trying to put together all this stuff you've learned. Focus on like specific sentences that you hear all the time. Like for example, if you're speaking Spanish a lot on the internet or practicing with people in real life or something, I guarantee that a question that people are going to ask you really often is, why are you learning Spanish? So what you should do is practice and memorize sentences that are in response to that question rather than just sitting and being like, oh, I've learned these words. Let me try to put them together or form a sentence on the, on the spot. Get some sentences memorized under your belt that make sense that you're going to say a lot. Like, for example, um, like, why are you learning Spanish? Estoy aprendiendo español. Porque soy de los Estados Unidos, donde pues hay muchos hispanohablantes en mi país, o algo así. ¿Me entiendes? Do you see what I'm saying? Because you'll get used to it, and then through that, you can start to diverge a little bit. Like, maybe, maybe next time you'll say, estoy aprendiendo español porque me gusta el idioma. And over time, you're going to improve things like that. Thank you for the, uh, thank you for the Danish compliments. Mads are up, Anderson. Your Danish is pretty good. That is not true. But um, I'm getting there, you know. Over time, I will be a hyper polyglot giga chad Danish speaker. Reke, reke, reke. Sending me the Danish flags. Appreciate that. Move Albanian to I want to learn. I can't just do that all, all of a sudden. You guys understand that. All right. Hebrew. Whew. Fun story. I almost moved there for an internship. All right. World Order just gave me $5. Uh, make sure you give Armenia a positive rating. I'm not going to lie. I will keep that in mind when we get to Armenian. That is very comical. All right, Hebrew. So I, the only thing, I know the alphabet. I know the alphabet in Hebrew. And I mean, interesting culture, interesting history, of course. 
Will I learn it though? I feel like I'll learn Arabic if I'm learning a what what language is it? What is it called? Um, if it's like a Semitic language or whatever, like it's gonna be Arabic and it's gonna be Palestinian Arabic. Funny enough, but I uh I don't believe uh wait I got a question um another five dollars appreciate it homie. So you do believe in memorization and flashcards? No, I do not. I will never use flashcards and I will never memorize words or anything like that. But I do believe in... in all right, well, I believe in memorization of phrases that you're going to use a lot just so that you speak it... So that you, you're you ready in situations. Like, like for example, um, like, uh, I don't know, in French or something like, uh, what did you do this weekend? If you're talking to French colleagues or something, you might say that a lot. So instead of getting in a jam and let's say you have a French coworker, right? And Monday morning comes around and you want to ask them, you know that a conversation is going to come up where you could ask them, what did you do last weekend? Like, or what, what did you do over the weekend? Why would you sit there and struggle and try to think like, oh, what's the word for weekend? How do you say, what did you do? You could practice things like this and say, ah, ta fait quoi ce weekend? Ta fait quoi ce weekend? I hope that that makes sense. It might not, but if it does, let me know. Est-ce que je peux aller aux toilettes? Like uh, Anna on Yumas says, yeah, that's a good example too, but that's only really if you're in school. So Hebrew, um, uh, I don't want to say it's, imp I just feel like I'd focus on Arabic if I'm going the Semitic route, Middle Eastern route, things like that. So I don't know if I want to put Hebrew, but I, I, I struggle to say nope because it is interesting written right to left, but it's not Arabic. But uh, I'm not trying to be controversial. Oh. Uh. I'm just saying it. I don't think I would learn it. Ivrit, Ivrit is cool, but I, I, I don't see myself doing it. I'm sorry. I hope I don't offend anyone. Okay. Italiano. <laughs> I like how people are so happy about that. I hate you. I hate like the controversy, dude. I hate it. Stop. Stop freaking out. Muscle tissue reveal? Absolutely not. What is up with everyone being so freaking weird to me, man? I'm not. I'm not. Never mind. I can't say that. Israel is cool. I have no problems. I just, I don't think I'd learn the language. It's no, I'm sorry. All right. Italian. Non parlo italiano, ma voglio imparare l'italiano perché in generale mi piacciono le lingue straniere, ma quindi non parlo italiano. Mi piacciono la pasta e la pizza d'Italia, ma non parlo italiano. Di dove sei? Parlo francese, parlo spagnolo, ma non parlo italiano. I'm just repeating the same thing. Uh, I will learn Italian. It will be learned because I already understand it super well. So, I mean, when you already speak French and Mexican, it's it's a real it's a give me language. Like if you're really trying to get up on the uh, if you're really trying to get up on the YouTube polyglot game and you just want to get that number of languages up so that. The title of your video can be like, American Polyglot Speaks 30 Languages. Italian is really, really easy to get that number up for sure. Va bene, parli molto bene. Grazie, grazie, grazie. All right, do another Omegle video, bro. I will eventually. All right, so Italian we want to learn. Let's look at the list real quick. Let's just pause and look at the list for two seconds. Um, your accent is not that bad. I appreciate that, homie. Uh, while you look at the list, I'm going to go... Um, uh, do a little, do, do something. Don't worry, I'll be back. One second, don't leave. I'll be pissed. All right, how did my viewers go up when I went to the bathroom? That doesn't make any sense. All right, toilet stream. I'm not bringing the camera in the toilet. How do you know that I went to the bathroom? I guess I just said it. I'm back. Is there any language that has a beta mindset? Yes, we're going over that right now. Hot mic, we heard everything. There's no way you heard everything. 
Did you just do a quickie what with Steve Kaufman? No, what the hell? He's back, time to leave. All right, goodbye. Arrivederci. Arrivederci, amigo. All right, let's move on. Canta freaking knees. Cantonese, guys. Please con- correct me if I'm wrong, but I think that Cantonese is spoken in Hong Kong. Not to be confused with Hong. Never mind. Macau. I've heard of Macau. Um, Hong Kong. Let's see. I got a super chat from Ebard Thon. Do you like Duolingo as a learning tool for beginners? And what made you get into languages? Um, I think that Duolingo is a good tool. Yeah, for sure. I mean, just like anything, you're not going to learn a language off of one thing. Just for, uh, you know, just a quick little... Like you can't just do Duolingo to fluency, but yeah, it absolutely helps. Like you, you learn shit, right? If you if you don't study, if you have never studied a language, and you pull up Duolingo for an hour and you have some fun on it, like you're gonna know more than you did before. I I frequently will like pull it up just for fun. Don't uh, anyone who says otherwise is, is cringe. All right, Cantonese. I have literally no desire. I'm sorry, I have zero desire to learn Cantonese. If I ever go over. To, to Far East Asia over there, and I start to study uh, Chinese. It's it's some sort of Chinese. It's not going to be Cantonese. I'm sorry. We won't uh we won't go on with that too much. All right. What is this one? Is this Armenia? Can I get a confirmation that this one is Armenia? You don't need Duolingo. You're already a hyperpolyglot Giga Chat. I know. Honestly, I have a video where I learned French on Duolingo in one lesson. If you want to go check that out after this. All right, so this is Armenia. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, I actually got a super chat. I believe I was paid $5 to give this a big boost. Um, is there a way for me to confirm that real quick? Um, just give me a second. I believe I was given $5 to, to give this one a very top tier response. So... Before, I feel like I wouldn't have given this that big of a... I I wouldn't have given this one a great rating, but I've been given $5 over it. All right. All right. Let's be real, though. Let's be real. I'm not going to let that guy influence me. $5 is just $5. Let's not let that influence me. So, I... I've never planned to learn it, for sure, but Armenia has cool, interesting history... And I could see, I could see it happening. It would be cool. No, it wouldn't. It's a maybe. I'm sorry. I, I, I the only reason I was gonna put it in it would be cool is because you gave me five dollars. I'm sorry. I have to be honest. It's not that cool. It's a maybe. That's Kim Kardashian language. World Order gave me two dollars to put it a higher rating. It is now would be cool again. I have now made seven dollars off of the Armenian flag. So, um, anyone else want to donate to put it into one to learn? <laughs> Just, I mean, I'll pause for a second. Any other takers? Anyone? Next bid? Move it up to one to learn? I'll give it a minute. Grab your credit cards. <laughs> Guys, don't give me free money. Buy yourself something nice. Buy yourself a uh, chicken tender on me all right we will move on in a second oh all right i was actually given 50 knock can someone tell me what can people confirm that can people translate that someone do the conversion what is that what is nok tell me how much that 50 dollars is in american dollars someone please before i decide if i'm moving it up it could be like 10 cents it's about five dollars six dollars all right all right it's now in one to learn. If anyone wants me to plan to learn it, <laughs> dude, this is the most scummy thing. Pull it back lower, said Dirt Pago PVP. It is with for two euros. It is now and would be cool. This is actually getting pretty hilarious. All right, let's see. So it has moved from the maybe category to the would be cool, all the way up to the want to learn. And now it is back to the would be cool. Would anyone like to move it any further? <laughs> this is what you call late stage capitalism. And the sun is coming through my window. 
All right, I was given another 50 NOK to put Armenia back in the one to learn, dude. <laughs> this is so funny. Oh my goodness. Now I want to learn Armenian. <laughs> Bro, what did this guy just donate 5 HRK for? He didn't even tell me what to do. What is that? What is 5 HRK? What do you want me to do? What is your username, bro? What does this guy want me to do? All right, someone convert 5 HRK and tell me and tell me if that what does he want? Me to move it down or up? 50 Nokia's? Lower? He didn't say it himself. If you're going to if you're going to give me money to move Armenian, you got to tell me. You got to tell me what. It's 70 cents USD. Where do you want it? Oh. Russian grammar is the easiest in the word you world. Do you agree? I do. Move it to already speak for ten dollars. <laughs> I mean, we could get it up to the already speak. I feel like I have to wait for this war to be over for a second. I apologize. We'll move to the next one in a second, or or we could just continue in a second. We'll continue in like one minute, but then if people still want to screw around with Armenia, we can move it. All right, like 30 seconds, we'll move on. Greetings from Poland. Chest. Talk about languages that have a beta mindset. We will get to those, I'm sure. This is late stage capitalism, my friend. He wants Urdu up? Well, we'll see. We're getting Urd. Urdu up. All right, let's start. Let's continue. Armenian simp. That is right. I will donate $10,000 if you learn Ukrainian right now. Sounds like a plan. Okay, let's go. Let's move on to Chinese. Mandarin Chinese. I'm not Shalma NYC. If anyone did not know that. I am actually not that man. So I do not speak fluent Mandarin Chinese. Keep in mind, guys. When I say, when I have all these languages up here and stuff. When I'm saying already speak, right? Up in this category. I'm saying that like I speak it well enough to say that I speak it. And not feel like a cringe poser. You understand what I'm saying? So like I'll be a little tough on myself. With some of these. Chinese though, Mandarin, I, I don't really have move Armenia to the already planned to learn. It doesn't work like that. You just give me five dollars. That's uh oh never mind, it does work like that, because that was where it is. Alright. I am now planning to learn it, El Murat. Thank you very much. Alright. Chinese, Mandarin. Uh honestly, I think it's only a maybe. Because honestly, it's too saturated. I'll tell you, I'll tell you why. Chinese is awesome, right? All through my life, I took a Chinese course when I was like 13 in eighth grade. And I'm not horrible at it. I really am not. Like, this might come as a surprise. I don't think I've spoken Chinese maybe like once on TikTok, like a year ago. I'm not, I'm not horrible. I can understand quite a bit of like the, of the normal shit that people say. If you start talking to me about rainwater or something, I'm not going to know what the hell you're talking about. This guy just told me in a super chat that Pakistan is the best and then they shit on India. We're not on Urdu yet, but we'll get there, homie. Uh, Chinese, I feel like it's ruined, though, by the YouTube polyglot. I'm not going to lie. Like, I don't have this vendetta out for other polyglots or anything. I seriously don't hate anybody on YouTube or anything, and I think that they're pretty cool. But everyone learns Chinese. The, the white guy learning Chinese is kind of a trope that I'm, that I'm done with. If I learn... A Southeast Asian language, which I already know, you know, a bit of Indonesian. But if I learn something that's like tough and tonal down there, it's probably going to be like Thai or something. So bump that Hungarian, says K Grace, for 44 letters, 18 cases, not even Indo-European. Man, that's right, dude. Which is which is it? That's that. All right, now we want to learn Hungarian. Thank you, K Grace. All right, what was I saying? So Chinese is a maybe. Because I definitely see a reality where I end up where I end up learning Chinese in the future. But right now, it's not on my list. It is not on my list. Deutschland. Deutschland, Deutschland, über alles. Ja, ja, ja. Das ist gut. Das ist eine gute Sprache. Aber ich spreche nicht Deutsch. Ich will Deutsch lernen, aber jetzt ich, ich lehre Dänisch. Ja, ja. Dänisch auf Deutsch? Weiß es nicht. Weiß es nicht. Ich liebe dich. Ich komme aus der USA. All right, so here's another language that I kind of understand. I'm not going to lie. Like, no cap. If someone starts speaking to me in Dane, or excuse me, someone starts speaking to me in Deutsch, 
I'm going to understand it unless they're talking about some weird shit, right? Ich hab Deutsch gelernt, yeah? My accent is scheiße and I can't I can't I can't formulate things too well, but I I understand it pretty much. If you if you type it to me, I usually can read it. Ich liebe Caractacus Potts, you need to behave. That was inappropriate. So how was my German? Can you tell me how my German was, guys? Right there? I mean, obviously, it wasn't like YouTube polyglot level, like Deutschland, Deutschland über alles status or anything, but it wasn't that bad. I don't think. Ah, oh, dang, Danglish. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. Dein Deutsch war okay. Ah, yeah. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Awful, I hate it, says a man with a username that I can't even repeat. Like, weird pronunciation, but good. Well, that's what I'm saying. I'm not claiming wunderbar. Yeah, 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 das ist gut. Your accent is kind of off. Yeah, 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 das ist gut. Yeah, das ist normal. Is that Danish? <laughs> I don't even know. Ton allemand est pas mauvais. Merci, si mer en wesh. All right, German, though, I want to learn it. I mean, I want to get better at it. I, like I said, I can understand it, not too bad. But I can't claim that I speak unless I'm... I mean, guys, I'm not going to lie. If I made a video saying American hyper polyglot giga chat speaks 20 languages, I would definitely put that on the list and people would love it. Um, Uba Alice is a very uncomfortable thing to say given its nationalistic history. I would agree, but I'm literally just singing the anthem that I understand. I think that's the anthem current day. I'm not trying to be anything like a Nazi or anything. I literally just think that's their anthem. Is this Georgia? Is this the Georgian language? Why do I have 666 viewers? I don't like that. Can you leave? Or maybe, I don't know what it is actually. I can't tell. Your Deutsch ist scheiße. Ja, ja, ja. Ja. Was hast du über mich gesagt? Was hast du über mich gesagt? Mein Akzent ist perfekt. Was hast du über mich gesagt? This is Georgia, right? All right, this is Georgia. Georgia has, okay. Georgia has a sick alphabet. Most of the time, honestly, my favorite alphabets in the world are the American alphabet for obvious reasons. And El Arabia, El Arabia, El, El, El Arabia, because the squiggly lines and shit. But Georgian has like circles and shit, I think. Am I talking about the right thing? Georgia's in America? No, Mo, Mo, Mo. I dead ass thought that Georgian was spoken in Georgia in the United States in the South. I'm not even kidding. And then the other day I looked at a map for the literal first time. And a lot of you probably saw that video. But... I genuinely, I genuinely did not realize that Georgia was also a country and that they speak a language. And then when I looked at the alphabet, it was like all squiggly and stuff. Are you saying I'm 3.2K away from 1 million subs? Let's go, dude. I'm going to hit 1 million subscribers and like 3,000. So if you're not subbed, you better freaking click that. Um, someone said, Die Denskis Pro Lüde Som Viha in Kartoffel Ivoris Hälse. That is true. It does sound like you have a potato in your mouth. I just read that Danish really well. Yes, Nekadensk. All right. Georgian would be really cool. It's got those squiggly things. It would be very, very cool. Do you speak Californian? I do not. All right. Let's move on. Your Arabic is great. Shukran, shukran. Greek. Already planned to learn. No questions asked. If you don't like it for some reason, you're weird. Greek is awesome. It sounds so cool. Did you understand me if you're Greek? Did you understand me? Because my accent is perfect. I literally speak Greek better than the average Greek person. So a lot of you, I saw a few messages like, what's the point? What's the point on Greek and stuff? Uh, okay, here's the thing, guys. I have a fantasy, right? I have a freaking fantasy where... I move where my life gets simple. Let's say, guys, I don't make that much money on YouTube, right? Like I don't, I seriously don't. But maybe if I got better, if I get bigger and stuff, I'll make like enough where I could live in another country. And I want to literally become a fisherman in Greece and just live and like make videos maybe and then just be fish like with my shirt off. Right now I'm just, I'm just hairy. I'm not, I'm not shredded or anything. I'm just a hairy man. So I would need to get my bod going, but I would just fish, right? Like cast my pole, fish, throw a net in the water in like uh, Mykonos, you know that? Or like Santorini with all the white marble shit. And I'd just be speaking Elinikas, 
Ilinikas, Ilinikas. And I would just be fishing, right? And then make videos about it. And I would probably be in heaven. So I do plan on learning Greek. Do you only make money from YouTube? No, I am an engineer. <clears throat> We're not going to talk about this one. I mean, I can say it. Uh, yes, I did just put Japanese in the nope category, and we're not going to talk about it. What's this next one? Is this is this Latvian? Can someone uh, can someone confirm? If you move to Greece, you'll get four hundred percent more hair. Is that true? Are they hairy men over there? Because I'll fit in then, I guess. Can we kiss? Uh, maybe. Ooh, woo. <laughs> Lithuanian. This is not Latvia. Okay. How do you guys know about this shit? I do not understand how you guys know this. Are you guys all like just wizards? Are you all vexillologists? Okay, Lithuanian. What is Lithuanian? Can someone teach me about this? I mean, I know I know that it goes Estonia, Latvia, Lithuania, so this is close to Russian stuff. But what um what things do they have? There are they Uralic? I have no idea. You've attracted the flag fans? Oh, I totally have by having flags dangling here on the stream. Ah, Lithuanian. It's Baltic. Okay. It's Baltic. Are they Russia's enemies, you're saying? Don't even bother. Seven cases. Seven cases and I don't really care right now. Ah. I'm sorry. It's a nope. And I saw some of you guys saying that this is Latvian here, right? So we just had Lithuanian. Now this is Latvian. What's the difference between uh, Latvia and Lithuania? I mean, obviously that they're two different countries, but what about the languages? Are they a lot different? Why would I want to learn Latvian and not Lithuanian? Does anyone have any good ideas? You just put Japanese on nope. That's unforgivable. I can't reply to that comment. I mean, do you want me to? Do you want me to go back and talk about Japanese? If you want me to, let me know. I know because I'm Lithuanian, one of the most archaic Indo-European languages, Baltic language family, put it up. Wait, Demario, can someone tell me what 50 CZK is in American dollars? 50 CZK? And we'll take a look at if uh, if it's worth it. Latvian sounds singing-like. Lithuanian is the most difficult language in Europe. Really? $2.2? .2 All right, dude. You'll get a maybe for that. Like, you've, you've sparked my interest. Why am I low-key crushing on language temp? It's because I'm attractive to every woman and man on the planet. Fiskegot? You think fish are good? That's cool. All right, so Latvians are more introverts. Latvian is gigachad language. Uh, sounds like a lot of you want me to talk about Japanese, so maybe I'll have to dive into it. I feel like if I put Lithuanian as a maybe, I've got to put Latvian there. So they're kind of on the same... They're on the same wavelength here, guys. Because, I mean, truthfully, yeah, like, I can't just say I'm never going to learn it. But they're too similar for me right now. I don't know the difference. All right, let's move on. Is this Malaysian? And I'll, and I'll tell you, if this is Malaysian, then I know exactly where this goes right off the bat. And I don't want to offend anyone because I'll give a good explanation for why. This person just donated 1,000 CRC. What is that? Can someone tell me what 1,000 CRC is? I don't care. I'll answer your question for the super chat, but I'm just curious. Um, how do you get unstuck from language plateau? Uh, I can only answer with like my own experience. I feel like I feel like you just have to. You have to do different things. Like I remember, I, I got to this plateau in French for like a year where I thought I was a giga chat at it, but I was actually dog shit, and then I finally like went back and I stopped and I started to like dive deep into the little things, right? Like for the longest time in French, I was saying like, oh, I don't give a shit about gender, which is the dumbest thing, right? Like you should care about gender, like le and la and un and une. It's stupid to ignore that. But for some reason, I, I felt like I didn't care. So I went back and I was like actually focusing on that shit, even for basic words. I was focusing really hardcore on pronunciation, on the pronunciations of like really common words that I'd already been saying so much and I've I improved so much that way. I was listening to advanced podcasts actually about like psychology and stuff and how to improve your life. There's one called Change Ma Vie by, by a woman named Clotilde Duchulier. And she explains how to improve your life kind of in ways, self-help. But she does it in very elegant terms. And I started to emulate the way that she speaks. I hope that that helps. I'm not Steve Kaufman. 
Derditas. <clears throat> All right, so this is Malaysian, and I'll tell you why I'm putting this in the nope category. I'm sorry. I I'll tell you why, though. I have a really, really good, really, really good reason. The reason why I'm putting this in the nope category is because I already love and have studied to a pretty... Uh, I mean, I haven't spent too much of my life studying it, but I have studied... Indonesian a bit and I I, I don't care. I mean I love Indonesian and Malaysia is really cool countries and whatnot but I don't ever see myself caring enough to like go learn Malay which is too similar of a language it would I would just stick with Indonesian so it has nothing to do with Malaysian being bad or anything just what I've chosen first because it's spoken by more people too Mirko Sant says bro Maltese is S tier Arabic Lang and Latin alphabet uh, I don't know what the Maltese flag is so I guess we'll get there and we'll, we'll talk about that in a second Hopefully someone can point that out when we get there. Say something in Indonesian. Apa kabar? Nama saya language sim. Aku bela jarbas Indonesia. Um, I hope you understood me. It shouldn't be bad. All right. Now we're at Moroccan. Moroccan. I'm assuming they mean Arabic, right? There's no other Arabic speaking flags on this list, are there? Oh, the Maltese flag isn't here, I'm being told. Okay, that's kind of toxic. Well, because you gave me two euros, I can talk about Maltese really quick. Uh, so it's Arabic in the Latin script. I don't think it's actually Arabic though, right? I think um, I think would be cool. I can give you with that. All right, so if we're talking about the, I think we're talking about Arabic, guys. I get that a lot of you were saying, oh, no, this is Amazigh or whatever, or uh, Amazir, or however you say it, or or um, Moroccan dialect of Darija or whatever, but we're saying it's Arabic, guys. Them using the Moroccan flag is just as valid as them using, as them using anything. Uh, wait, someone told me that I got a super chat to talk about Japanese. Uh, I'm sorry, let me check that. Laura gave me a super chat. How do you check your freaking super chats, dude? That I missed. All right, Laura. Laura, if you gave me a super chat, I'm really sorry for missing it before. Uh, I will talk about Japanese because if you gave me a super chat for it and I missed it, I feel really bad. Okay, Japanese. I'll just sum it up really quick. I have no desire to study Japanese because... The only reason to study Japanese is to learn or to watch anime and its original language. It's it's written to without subtitles, and I don't watch anime. I've never watched it. I've accidentally seen a few series like Ano Himita Hana no Sharana Wobukutachi Naruto, but I would never voluntarily do it. So that's why it's in the worst tier. I'm sorry, but it's not saying anything bad about the language itself. It's just my own opinion. Like, what do you think I'm doing on this live stream? You know, I'm doing a, a tier list over the languages that I, language simp, would study. So thank you for the super chat, Laura. Okay, let's move on finally to Arabic. We've been moving around. For anyone who's confused, this is what we're calling Arabic, the Moroccan flag. I am learning it. And it's called Arabic. And I'm in America. And it's me, language simp. I love Arabic. It's so cool. I can read it. I can read it. I can read it. But I can't read it well. And I haven't decided what dialect. I think, I think I'm doing Palestinian. And I think that I'm starting to study it like really soon, really hardcore. I love Arabic. Dude, I feel like there's so many languages that... Okay, and this is... I know this is going to sound bad, but I know that you guys are going to understand what I'm saying. Arabic is like one of those languages like like Chinese or Japanese or Hindi where they're very difficult and Westerners don't learn them often. But when they do, you know, it's like kind of high praise type thing. But I feel like it's one of the least popular of those. And for, for two reasons. One, it's it's really hard a lot of the cultures are misunderstood in some ways, especially in, in America. And then also the dialects are pretty annoying. I'm not going to lie. The fact that they have so many dialects and you could like learn Palestinian Arabic and then go to Morocco and be pretty lost. <clears throat> gets a little annoying. 
Uh, Mohammed's asked me written Arabic with or without the vowel markers. I can only read it if it has the vowel markers because my vocab is too low, too too small, so I can't do it. Drop the Danish study routine, maybe one day. So Arabic, we are absolutely learning Arabic. Beautiful language, I love it. What the hell is this flag? I'm gonna try to guess it without looking at the chat for a second. What the heck is this flag? Is it? It's either Cambodia or Mongolia. Let me know. Arabic has so many dialects. Some find it annoying. Yes, pe people do, but that's why um. But that's why it's cool to me, too, in a way. Mongolia, 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 greatest nation of all, says someone. That's interesting. Mongolia. Um. I've heard it. I've I've watched like easy languages videos in Mongolia, and they've got this weird sound like a. It's it's like a click sound almost. I don't know if anyone knows what I mean, but it's some like throat T-ish sound. They do have a cool script, but, and it would be cool. It would be cool to learn. We gotta start speeding things up so we could do a few other things in this live. Learn the Saudi Ar Arabian dialect. It's, it's understood by all Arabs. Saudi, lil majdi wal alia. I forget the words, but Saudi Arabia is cool. More people speak Mongolian than Danish, just so you know. I believe that. But Mongolian would probably take a lot longer for me than Danish. <clears throat> uh, Mongolian's cool. It would be it would be cool for sure. Imagine me running around Mongolia, Ulan Batar, I think is the capital, right? Imagine running around saying Ulan Batar, and 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 doing that click kind of shit that they do in Mongolian and surprising locals, and then taking a picture of them freaking out and drawing a circle over them for my thumbnail and saying like white American blows the minds of native local Mongolians with swag this is dutch they've got the ho sound or do we got any dutch peakers in here k grace says you're not going to learn dutch let's speed run this one that's really interesting ulem batar chad city that is true it is it's not as chad as uzbekistan I don't understand that meme, like, he colonized or whatever. Ik ben Nederlands. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Ik spreek it. We've got some some Dutch speakers in the house. That's really cool. Ik spreek een beetje Nederlands. Yeah, das is sehr gut. Das is Deutsch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where are the conlangs? There aren't. How do you have good accents? I don't know. But danke schön. Esperanto is fun as F. It's not. All right. Uh, Dutch is really cool. I want to learn it. I want to learn Dutch. Because I feel like after Danish and German, Dutch would be pretty interesting. I always wanted to learn it. I always had, I was always fancy in Dutch a bit, but naturally I was drawn to German more. That's why I understand a lot of it. And then, and then obviously Danish is a gigachad language, probably the best language on the planet. So that is why I'm learning that. <clears throat> Norwegian is an absolute nope. Let's just, honestly, while we're at it, let's just throw Sweden in the nope there. <clears throat> if anyone has anything to say about that, I'll listen, but I don't know. Esperanto is useless. Yeah, Esperanto is pretty useless. One day, I would totally, I would totally study like a con language, I guess, but I wouldn't, it definitely would not be, be that language. Kind of gross. Anything that's made up, like Esperanto is too serious. Like they made it up too seriously it's not fun dutch are the best non-native english speakers in the world in my opinion it said that it's norway but i don't hear it eh, i don't care about how they, how well they speak american pewdiepie language yeah that's going in the going in the nope tier i'm sorry danish is just the best nordic language bitches i would argue that danish is the best language on the planet Norwegian is best, says August. I'm sorry, you're wrong. Toki Pona, learn it. Toki Pona, I'd be interested in. Honestly, if the Discord wanted to learn Toki Pona together, I would actually be really interested in that because it would be really easy. Like, And we could all do it really fast and we could all get to a point where we could do it. Why Danish? I'll tell you why. Because Danish has a sound. They've got that noise and it's just beautiful. It's like harps on clouds of gumdrops and violins. What are some hyperpolyglot giga tips for learning languages? Just do it. All right, let's move on to Urdu. Urdu in Pakistan. 
Pakistan. Do we got anyone from Pakistan here? Anyone who speaks Urdu? We've got hundreds of people, so I wouldn't be surprised if uh, if someone speaks Urdu. <clears throat> I think Urdu is really cool, and I'll tell you why I actually could see me learning this instead of Hindi. So here's the thing. If I learn... If I learn a language like a Hindustani language, right? Because they're basically, if, if you don't know, Hindu, Hindi and Urdu are pretty much the same language, I believe. But Urdu is written in the Arabic script and Hindi is written in the Hindi script or whatever. And I'll tell you why I could see myself learning Urdu first. Because, is it, just confirm, it's Hindi with the Arabic script, yes, okay. I'm not the only person thinking that. So the reason why I could see myself learning Urdu instead of Hindi is because I already know the Arabic script. And I'm going to speak fluent Arabic, 100%. I'm going to speak Arabic better than Arabs in the future. So it's not going to come before Arabic, but I could totally see Urdu happening. So Urdu is going to go in the already planned to learn category. Along with Hindi, Greek, and drumroll please... Armenian. Keep in mind, guys, Armenian, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, was in the maybe tier until a god came down before my eyes and gave me a good reason. Mirko Sant says, why is there no Malta flag? I don't know. Oh. All right. Tagalog. Tagalog. Filipino. Whatever you want to call it. Are there any, are there any Filipino people here? Anyone from the Philippines who speaks Tagalog or anything? I think it's a beautiful country. I think the people are really cool. There's like, there's really only one thing that that makes me struggle to want to learn Tagalog. And it's just the fact that whenever I watch videos in Tagalog, there's just so much American words and, and even sentences and phrases kind of sprinkled into it that it just discourages me, you know? Because it's like, if I'm in the Philippines and I start to speak Filipino to people, like, yeah, they're going to freak out. Yeah, it's going to be super fun. And I'm sure if I'm good enough, they're not going to switch to American. But I don't know. Maybe that's not the right mindset. Maybe it's still worth learning. Beautiful country, though. Beaches are crazy. I would absolutely love to visit. Oh, I know how to say, like, como esta? A cosi language simp. What do you guys think? Great food, especially the chopped up pig face fajitas with raw egg on top. That sounds kind of interesting. You are very good at American, but I think we all have a long way to fluency. I don't, I don't disagree. All right, well, not no one's really commenting on the Philippines as much, so I don't really think that there are many Filipinos here. But uh, thank you for the, thank you for the poop emoji, Ryan. Uh, I don't know what that means. I don't know if you want something out of that, but uh. Uh, I'm going to say maybe. It, I mean, it would be cool, but I think it's more of a maybe because I'm not like freaking out at the idea of learning it. Let's move on. Is this Poland or Indonesia? Is this Poland or Indonesia? Someone please tell me. I have no idea. Bella Porch, someone said. That is very true. Bella Porch is a... Bella Porch exists. Oh, it's Poland. So how do you tell the difference? Aren't they the same flag? I don't understand. Damn, the chat fought. Dude, you guys are crazy. Like, like just let's just talk for a second. I like I really appreciate the spam of me of telling me what language, right? 100% love it. But I just find it so comical how Wait, what the heck did I just get? I just got two New Zealand dollars. Is that New Zealand dollars from Gleb? I don't know. What do you think about one world language idea? Uh, I mean, it would definitely rob everyone of culture, but I like the idea of one world language because I don't like, like one world language where everyone unifies behind that's maybe not backed by a certain country. I like that idea because, especially if it was a con language, like if it just, if someone made it up, uh, that'd be cool. I would support that and I would learn it 100%. Because it's annoying that people have to learn American because it's, it's, uh, it, it's got some pro it's got some difficulties to it. It's the hardest language to learn in the world. Thank you for the super chat, Glib. But I like how when I ask you guys, uh what what a flag is y'all spam it like everybody's like gotta tell them <laughs> uh, i appreciate it 
Okay. Polish, though. What do I think? Ah, uh, do I want to learn Polish? Do we have any Poles in here? Polish is like... I don't know. It's like if I was going to learn Slavic languages, I don't think it's it's that high on the list. I put Czech and would be cool. I feel like Polish belongs in in the would be cool category unless someone gives me money. Um English to me said are you Northern Lions cooler nephew? Let me google what that means. Thank you for the super chat. Uh Northern Northern Lions. Uh I got to see if I look like this person. This is just a bald dude. I'll look into him later. I'm not bald. Am I his... What did you say? Am I his cooler nephew? I don't know. Was du no? Yes, I understand what you're writing, Mr. Japanese name person. All right. I, I don't care about Polish, to be honest. I mean, yeah, it's going in the would be cool. It, it's cool. I like how the noises are like... It sounds like a B. Like... But I'm not that interested. All right. Portuguese. Eu não falo português de Portugal. Português de Portugal. Is this just Português de Portugal? Or is this Português de Brasil? Português. Eu não falo português, mas eu gostaria de fazer barra com um siri ao... Eu gostaria de viajar ao Brasil. Brasil. Bolsonaro é muito gostoso. Muito, muito, muito gostoso. Brasil. Brasileiro. Bolsonaro. Fala sério. Eu gosto do Brasil. Eu gosto o sotaque brasileiro. Portugal better than Spain? I don't know. Brazilian is... Uh, eu estou estudando português agora. Eu estou estudando português agora. Um siri fazendo barra. I understand Portuguese almost 100%. I mean, if you write to me, there's like a 95% chance I'm going to understand it completely. If I hear it and it's slow... There's a 95% chance I'll understand it. But, and, and this is where we differ, right? Like if I studied a few rehearsed lines of dialogue, I could make a video saying I speak Portuguese, probably. But I'm not trying to lie, you know? I'm learning it. I'm not dog water at it, but I'm not great. Falando português, português, portunhol. I speak more like portunhol. Eu amo você. Brigadão. Obrigado. Language simp é muito gostoso. Brigadão. Eu sou muito gostoso. Bolsonaro é mais gostoso. And what do I want to learn between Brazilian Portuguese and Portuguese de Portugal? Uh, eu prefiro Portuguese do Brasil. That's my answer to your question. Romanian. Want to learn. 100... Or is that Chad? Is that Chad or Romania? Can someone tell me? What's the difference between Chad? What's the difference between the Chad and Romanian flag? Does anyone know? Is that the Chad flag or Romania? I'm getting both Chad, Romania. Chad, Romania. Uh, Chad. All right. I think it's Romania and I want to learn it. Chad is darker is what people are saying. It has darker because the people are darker. I don't know if that's true. I do also love Dragon Stadiente. Beautiful freaking song, dude. They have the same flag. Why do they have the same flag? One of them should change. They should go to war and one of them should change it. Oh, they used to have a communist symbol. That's why they're moved and they have the same. That makes sense. I didn't speak the song, but can't sing anything else or speak anything else. It's cool. All right. Thank you for the knowledge. I feel like I've learned something. Russian. Da. Russia. No, I can't sing the freaking Russian anthem. They're invading a country. Из-за того, что я сейчас, мне констри... я концентрируюсь на датском, 
датском языке, потому что это один из самых лучших языков в мире, да? Я не знаю, если я правильно говорю по-русски. Я делаю много ошибок, но я пытаюсь практиковать русский не каждый день, но часто, да? Часто. С моими русскими говорящими коллегами а, на работы. Это правильно? Я, я сказал, это правильно? Я не знаю. Вы знаете, что я американец? Это очевидно, да? Но, да. Спасибо за комплимент, Дани. Если ты думаешь, что я хорошо говорю по-русски, это абсолютно неправда. Но я бы сказал, что я говорю по-русски. Что вы думаете об этом? Чтобы, изучал, чтобы изучать русский, я слышал много Russian Progress, это канал на, на YouTube для тех, кто изучает русский. Это на, на работе, не на работы, блядь. Я сделал ошибку. Я глупый. Я такой глупый. Блин, 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 блин. Правильно. А, ну, спасибо. Да, да, да. Нормально. Хорошая интонация. Хорошее произношение. Спасибо. Спасибо. Russian you make sound harsh? Ну да. Ну, может быть. Я американец, кто изучает русский. Я не знаю. Ха-ха, I am глупый. Да, я глупый. Я просто глупый. Твой голос страшный по-русски. My voice is weird по-русски. Почему? Глупый, not глупый. Глупый. Глупый, вот это ой. I'm sorry, мои прозначения не... Это, это отстой, да? Это отстой. Просто. Без акцента практически говоришь. Это неправда, но спасибо за комплимент и спасибо за поддержку. Alright, I'm done. I'm done with the Russian. I'm done with the Russian. I will get better. Иди нахуй, российский войны корабль. <laughs> What an amazing moment in history. Русский вой... военный корабль. Иди нахуй. You sound like a native speaking Russian, not gonna lie. Maybe to you. Because you aren't a native Russian speaker. To a native Russian speaker, Strashna isn't weird, it speaks means scary. What does uh what is what is weird then I forget? Um Alright, so Yeah, I d I'm not I do not sound like a native Russian speaker, but to someone who doesn't know anything about um for someone who doesn't know anything about Russian, I probably sound good. I'm not bad though. I certainly am not bad. I, I I would say that I speak Russian. All right. Next one. What is this? Is this Slovenia? I feel like last time we were looking at um oh strani and strashny. Yeah, I was thinking strani when someone said strashny, да. Я делаю много ошибок. И я не все понимаю. You are speaking Ukrainian, right? No, I'm not. Спасибо за помощь. Thank you for the help, my friends. This is Serbia. Every time I get to flags like this, Serbia, Croatia, Slovenia, all that shit. I literally never freaking know what the difference between all these languages are. Or flags. I don't even know how to speak American. Serbian, I have like no desire. I'm just going to be honest. I have no desire. Ah. North Kosovo, people are saying, dude, I don't know enough about that uh, conflict to start dropping anything like that. Ugh. I don't know anything about Kosovo, anything about that. Let's see. It's in the nope category. If anyone has any objections, though, let me know. I'd be really curious. Serbia Sigma, people are saying. Oh, someone's saying, Я не все понимаю. Я хотел сказать, Я не все понимаю. Если я сказал... Я не все понимаю, я не хотел сказать это. Прости, прости. Извините, я не знаю русский. All right, um, yeah, what is this one? Is this Slovenia, finally? Am I in Slovenia? They use two alphabets? I don't know. I, I, I'm sorry, I've, I've never thought about Serbian. I don't know anything about it. I need to look into the Bal Balkans more. One day I'll get so, such, to such a high st Steve Kaufman Giga Chad level that um, I'll be able to have time for these types of languages. 
Uh, okay, everyone's fucking laughing at me because I called another country Sylvania. I have no idea. I'll be right back. Stay. Stay. So patomushta dora dora super dora dora dora. Okay, привет. Как дела? All right, let's move on. I did not go to the bathroom. All right, are you ready? What is this language? Slovenia, I think you said, right? I did wash my hands. They're wet. They're wet. They're wet. Do you read chat? Yes, Uber Central. I read chat. I'm reading chat right now. Okay. Slovenia. Slovakia. Shit, dude. I said it was Slovenia again. Why do I always do that? That is so cringe. I'm so stupid. All right. So it's Czechoslovakia, right? So so they're basically the same language, Slovak and Czech. But the thing is, if I learned that, it would be Czech. So I'm going to say maybe because, see, I put Czech in the would be cool. And if I was going to learn a language like that, it would be Czech. But if I were going to learn it, if I sat down and was like, all right, I'm going to learn Czech, I would definitely look into Slovak and see because I'd be open to being convinced. Like maybe I would go down this rabbit hole of studying the differences between the countries and stuff and I would fall in love with it. So that's super possible. It's a maybe. <clears throat> Is this finally Slovenia? Can someone tell me? Is this finally Slovenia? Guy has not realized yet that the flags are in alphabetical order. Wow. 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 These languages... These flags are in alphabetical order. Wow. I did not realize that. Is anyone else just realizing that now? Like, am I the only person? It's been a long time. Giga Chud. Yeah, all right. You just noticed too. I'm not an idiot. I love your videos from Pakistan. Love you, man. You're so funny. Thank you so much. We were just talking about how I might learn Urdu one day. Awesome language. Okay. Oh, let's look. Slovenia. Ah, uh, Slovenese. It's a maybe. It sounds cool. I've been fascinated by that country. I clearly have been trying to say that every country was Slovenia for a really long time. So clearly I have some sort of... I have some sort of brain wiring towards Slovenia. So I'm going to put it there. South African... South African. What language should I pretend like this is? Because don't they have a bunch? Should we call it Afrikaans? I did shuffle some of them at the start, Mark, but the, most of them probably stayed the same. But uh, tell me what language do you want this uh, this South Africa one to be? They have 11 official languages. What's the most spoken? I guess Afrikaans. Hausa. Is that how you pronounce the X-H-O-S-A? I don't even know. Hello, Hyperpolyglot Giga Chad. Dude, I'm 3,000 subs from 100 million subscribers. That's insane. If you're not subbed and you're watching this, what the hell are you doing? All right. Most of you guys are saying Afrikaans. The vast majority. We've got some Zulu, but most of you are definitely saying Afrikaans. So, ah, uh, but now you guys are switching up a little. Uh, I think I see more Afrikaans. If I ever learned 
Afrikaans or like a Dutch Germanic language like that, it would be, it would probably be Dutch. So I'm going to say no. Just being honest. Korean. Kokoma kochi piatsunmida. Kokoma kochi piatsunmida. Can anyone translate that? Trevor Noah language. Does he speak Afrikaans? Saudi Arabia. All right. Oh. Squid Games. Yeah, but what, what did I say? South Korea. God, I'm getting a little tired. All right. South Korea. Uh, K- Korean would be cool. I have no plans right now to learn it, though. We're going to add in the would be cool part. Let's move on. El Español. El Español es un idioma que aprendió. La verdad es que lo he aprendido. Lo hablo. No lo hablo perfectamente, pero lo hablo a un nivel bastante avanzado, digamos. Entiendo casi todo, dependiendo del país donde la gente viene. De dónde la gente viene. Porque a veces hablo con cubanos. Y cuando hablo con ellos, todo lo que me dicen no tiene sentido, la verdad. Pero cuando hablo con españoles, mexicanos, argentinos, entiendo todo. Lo he aprendido después de ruso, pero antes de empezar a crear contenido por YouTube y por TikTok, más te guía. ¿Qué has dicho, Casual Boy? ¿Cómo estáis? ¿Se ¿Si habláis español? ¿De dónde sois? Bolsonaro es not hot. Bolsonaro es muy gustoso. No es español, es mexicano. ¡Ah! Quería decir mexicano. Disculpa. Joder. He dicho español en lugar de mexicano. He cometido, he, he cometido un error. Todo chévere. Ah, qué bueno. Me has dicho chévere. Así que viene este Colombia o algo así, ¿no? Porque yo no uso esa palabra. La he escuchado algunas veces, pero... Es una palabra de Latinoamérica si la memoria no me falla. Si la memoria no me falla, tu gramática es español, no mexicana. Pero es español, no mexicana. P- pero no. Chaval, ¿qué me dices? Yo hablo español y puedo entender brasileño y portugués bien, pero yo no lo sé aprendido. Qué bueno, qué bueno. I just realized country Malaysia is on the nope category because Malaysia... No, it was on the nope category because I've already studied Indonesian a bit. Okay. Don't bring the political matter in here. What's political? Ya he aprendido español. Qué bueno, qué bueno. Está hablando con acento español. No, no, no. No hablo con ningún acento español. Hablo con un acento americano. How many languages do you speak anyway? You are polyglot gigachat after all. Uh, I speak 100,000. Laura G sent me a message, uh, two, two euros, to say, ¿Por qué hablas español con un acento de España? Para ser completa fucking mente honesto con vosotros. Y Laura, gracias por tu dinero. Al principio de mi aprendizaje de español, quería aprender un acento diferente a los demás por aquí, en mi país, Estados Unidos. Porque... Por todas partes del país hay muchos hispanohablantes que hablan con acentos específicamente de Latinoamérica y de, de México también. Pues Latinoamérica es parte de Latinoamérica, pero no sé por qué he dicho eso así. A ver, quería ser diferente, quería hablar con acento europeo y es por eso que lo he aprendido. Y ya está. También me gustan las pronunciaciones de la C y la Z. Y la S. Y palabras como vosotros también. Yeah, I wanted to be quirky, basically. I, I don't know what to say. I mean, Spain is cool. I didn't know shit about Spain either. It was it was a country that I ignored for the longest time. And I was just like, all right, I'm going I'm to I'm learn that. Oh, dude, this list is beautiful. This is taking a long time. We are, uh, how long are we into this? An hour and 30 minutes? Holy shit, I'm showing exhaustion. You know what? Something we're going to do after this, though, before I do leave. We're going to try to guess all the countries in the world. Really. I mean, not guess them, but try to list them. I'm going to try to do it with your help. I, um... 
I suck at it, but with your help, we'll be able to do it. So just stay tuned. If you're interested and you're waiting for me to finish this, stay tuned because we are going to do that before I leave. Why is language ignoring me? I'm not ignoring you. I just didn't see it or whatever. My nose in Bob or Zambia. I did not make this tier list. I just saw it on Google. Turkish. Turkish, Turkish, Turkish. I am not going to lie. Herkese marhaba. Nasıl simis. I do not speak Turkish. I've never seriously considered learning Turkish, but I have been introduced to a few Turkish speakers recently who are very cool. Turkish is a huge Turkic language, obviously. Turks seem pretty cool, but it would be pretty cool. It would be pretty cool, but I can't say that I want to learn it. It, I feel like it's a, it's a hard language for an American speaker. It would take a decent amount of time. And, I mean, if you look at languages that are in the I want to learn category, they just, they just get me going a bit more. If there's any Turks here that disagree, I'd love to hear what you have to say, though. I, 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 I like how it sounds. It sounds kind of a... It sounds very bumblebee like, I don't know. Grammar is not that hard if you can get cases. Well, I'm used to cases. I mean, not saying that I use them perfectly in the languages that I have learned that have them, but I, I, I enjoy them. They're not that difficult. I'm Turks and I don't think it's easy. Yeah, it's, it's pretty hard. Crise lâche le français européen de marde. Puis parle québécois au pire. <laughs> C'est drôle, Domati. How do you not mix up languages? I can't speak Spanish without like throwing in Swedish or Russian every word when I forget. Uh, how do I not mix up languages? I just, uh, I don't know. I've practiced enough, I guess. All right, so I put Turkish in the would be cool category, and that is very true. What is this? Does anyone know? Is this Thailand? I literally suck at flags. If this is Thai, then I know where this is going. I need confirmation, though. I suck. This seems like a list of only European languages. That is a really interesting idea. I mean, I'm looking at plenty of non-European languages here, but... I mean, it definitely is catered more towards European languages, I guess, but... La Thailand. This is Thailand. Thailand. This is definitely a want to learn. I want to learn Thai. Really beautiful country. Really cool people. But I do not know much about it, except for the fact that they say hrap. Hrap all the time. One of my favorite YouTubers, Russian Progress who teaches Russian online, he studied it, I know, at least years ago, or like two years ago when I was studying Russian. So. Ukrainian. I'm not trying to get political before I start saying this, okay? Don't be cringe. But, uh, it's like, it's like, I don't see myself studying, aside from Russian, I don't see myself studying another Slavic language with a bunch of cases in the Cyrillic script, especially when a lot of Ukrainians speak Russian already. So, I mean, it's a cool language, don't get me wrong. I like how the eyes, instead of like the backwards and looking things for eyes, they have like an actual kind of eye. But just being serious, I don't have... I don't have this huge, uh, this huge desire to do it, so I feel like it's gonna piss some people off. But like, it would be cool. I think I'll put in they would be cool because I don't like outright want to learn it. But if I was able to switch between Russian and Ukrainian real well and stuff, I would definitely I would learn it. Like it's possible in like ten years that I'll learn it. But right now it's just not. There's too much that I want to learn right now, and I don't have that much time in my day. Cancelled. Damn it. Where would you put Chatty in Arabic on your list? That would break the list. Apprendre l'Ukrainien, c'est un peu comme apprendre le Belge quand tu parles français. C'est absolument pas vrai. Vladi Daddy's behind the camera with a gun. You're not wrong. I hope that you understand my take on Ukrainian. American now. I already speak American. That's a weird American flag that they're using there. That is a weird American flag. Elijah, are you threatening me? Do I have a mod in my chat threatening me that I have to learn Ukrainian? Yeah, Arabic is on the list, but it's uh, represented with the Moroccan flag. 
Yeah, I don't know what this flag is. The American flag is looking really interesting, though. I'll tell you that. So that is definitely in the already speak category as I'm speaking American right this second. Shit, I keep hitting my mic. I apologize. Slava Ukraina. Da. Slava Ukraina. Tak. How many languages do you have to speak to be a polyglot? One. And last but not least, we are at Vietnam. Vietnam, guys. What do we think about Vietnam? I feel like I, I want to learn this more than... I feel like I want to learn this more than Thai. Because it's written in the American alphabet with accents on it and shit. And I know how to say... Uh, um, is it Toi Den Du Mi? Toi Den Du Mi? Pretty cool. I'm going to give it a one to learn. And with that being said, I have finished this. Oh, shit. I keep hitting my mic. I'm really sorry. If anyone wants to... Can someone take a screenshot of that? Wow. That took me an hour and 40 minutes. We're going to move on to trying to name all of the countries in the world in a minute and that'll probably wrap up the stream but please someone take a screenshot of this um maybe this will change i'd be curious i feel like i have to do this again in like six months try to get a good photo of that for me please because i'd be curious this is where this is where i am right now like just being just being honest this is where i am in my language learning journey this is these are my thoughts except i'm not gonna lie i was paid to move armenian up all right, I am not, I am not just trying to make money, but I'm going to sit here for two minutes. And if anyone wants to move anything on this list before we make it completely final, just let me know. This is now an NFT. I'm going to take a photograph of this, but I'm going to be selling this as an NFT for $600,000. Good night, daddy. I'm going to sleep now. Good night, Max. If anyone pays me, I'll move your, I'll move your language. Someone just told me that my Danish sounds like Swedish. That is a freaking insult. Where's the wire going to your room? I can't talk about that. Giga Chad getting paid to drag flags. <laughs> Cringe, just export it. I can't export it. Just take a picture. Please say, hold cloud in the flood. All right, who's buying this tier list? Move Swedish. I don't even think, honestly. I don't think that someone could pay me six hundred dollars to uh to move Swedish. Honestly, you would have to pay me so much. A Unity for two euros wants me to move Finnish up. All right, <laughs> your wish is my command. All right, Ryan sent me twenty USD to say move everything down. That is in would be cool except check. All right, that is going to happen. <laughs> All right. <laughs> oh my goodness thank you very much for that uh for that twenty dollars mr ryan i have just changed it for you stay stay tuned in a few minutes we are going to be doing trying to name all of the countries on the planet and i'm going to need you guys because i suck at that and i'm good at naming like probably 100 countries but after that i'm screwed so i need you guys Someone pay 30 euros to erase this list? That would be kind of sad. This took me a while before I save it. Corruption in the YouTube polyglot community? Hey, I'm being honest about what I'm doing right now, man. It's not like I'm making that much money. Oh, it's about tribe. It's about money. You pronounce the L's really wrong in Russian? Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised. Probably because it's difficult with the smyakum uh, znakum da 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 da. Someone paid you to put finish up? Yes. That did happen. Do you have a Discord server? Yes. You should go to um the About Me section on my, my channel. You could go there. Are you seriously learning Moroccan? That Moroccan flag is actually representing the Arabic uh the Arabic language. Um I was just paid money to move check check now move check one more level up. Dude, check is in the one to learn category now. Oh my goodness, geography simp. I like geography, but I'm not good at it. I'm learning. You guys are watching me learn. Epic Discord server, thank you, homie. When you get paid $20 to move Armenian up, that'd be interesting. How about Elvish? I don't know anything about Elvish, homie. Learn Hebrew, it's so fun. Uh, I kind of want to move Hebrew up. I don't know why it's in a... 
I don't know why it's a no, honestly. People assume that I'm like really uh, political when it comes to the Middle East issue. I'm really not. I like I really like Palestine and and the Arabic and people there and stuff. I I don't really know the conflict that much. So. I knew the stream is the uh, Romanian flag. Already planned to learn Romanian or Chad. That is Romanian. If Chad D in Arabic was here, I would definitely do it. Where would you place Latin and Irish? That's a good question. Latin, I would put it on the nope category. It's just too. It's too hard. It takes too much time. I don't care. I want to talk to people when I learn a language. And what was the other one? I forget. Oh, Irish. Irish is on the maybe scale. I could see myself doing it. Chesky, Chesky. Yeah, Czech moved up. There's no would-be cool languages anymore. That's kind of crazy. I speak Hebrew and you don't have a reason to learn it unless living in Israel. Yeah, that's cool. But honestly, you can learn any language and go speak online with like anybody in the world so learn yoruba if you're true giga chad that would be cool i have one friend who speaks yoruba i guess nothing would be cool to learn as a language now it's true there's nothing in the would be cool section um man that shit is too funny like the guy sending 20 dollars to move check up and then it'd be funnier if like there was a battle and like someone was moving something up someone's moving something down person is asking romania or chad it's romania yes that is true they keep asking still you are the best polyglot alpha chat gigamail on YouTube. I know that for a fact, dude. That's why I say it before every video. And like in a few minutes, we're going to switch. We're going to guess every country on the planet. You guys can let me know when you're, uh, when you really are done with looking at this tier list and we'll start doing that. Thoughts on Bengali. Super cool. I could see myself learning it. If Bengali was on here, I'd probably have it on the would be cool section. What about Creole? Which Creole? Welsh? That's also in the maybe, like like Irish. Wolof? Probably maybe. Pashto? Would be cool. Greenlandic? Would be cool. American Arabic is already uh, captured in the learning section there. Uh, start learning Urdu plus Hindi. That would be a cluster mind F. That would be way too difficult to do at the same time. Swahili is definitely in the want to learn. I really want to learn Swahili. That'd be really cool. Um... Dude, you have flag dyslexia? I don't know, man. Why did you not explain Japanese? I did explain Japanese. I went back and did it later. How do I get verified bilingual on Discord? Talk to one of the admins or something. Learn real much? You speak to 20 people? I don't think I'd ever do that. Oh. I know all countries. I will help you. Thank you, Monkey Hat. I'm looking forward to your help. We'll do it in a few minutes. What's your favorite grammar rule from any language in the world? Probably the fact that, and you can correct me if I'm wrong, but... When you're saying with the soft sign in Russian, it's like smyakum znakum, and it just sounds really goofy. Do you remember Duolingo? Do you recommend Duolingo for basic German? Uh, yeah, for sure, dude. Have fun. It's fun. Just uh, get in there and you'll learn some stuff. It's not going to make you fluent, but it's nice to get started. How do I become a hyper poly like GigaChad? Do you have a course I can enroll in? You have to send me $2,000. What's your favorite game? Crunker. Hawaiian, Cherokee, Navajo. I would probably put Hawaiian and I would put Navajo in the want to learn. Hawaiian and Cher Hawaiian and the would be cool and Cherokee probably in the maybe. And by the way, you're a simp. Yes, I I literally am. Why did you get banned from your Discord? You probably did something bad. What's the best way to learn accents? Just uh, speaking out loud to yourself a lot and trying to imitate them and not feeling weird when you do it. Not being nervous to to imitate people motivated me i motivated you to learn danish that's like the best thing that i've ever heard hundred dollars to raise cherokee if you give me a hundred dollars i will get a cherokee tat no just kidding i won't um i was thinking what do i do all right all right quick question before we hop into this uh into this new into what we're going to do with the flags which i could probably i mean or not with the flag but the countries of the world what do you guys think i should do for my hundred thousand subscriber um, my 100,000 subscriber party here. Like, what do I do? 100K subs are coming up soon. 3,000 more. It's not going to be long. What should I do? Should I get a tattoo of the Duolingo Owl? Should I get a tattoo of Steve Kaufman? I feel like a tattoo is the natural thing to do. Steve Kaufman collab for 100K? I don't think that Steve Kaufman will just collab for 100K. Make a new language for 100K? 
learn a hundred languages, twerk in front of the camera. I wouldn't be opposed to twerking for in front of the camera. I could dance. I could dance for a for a meaty donation. <laughs> uh, tattoo of Duolingo owl, please. I don't know. I feel like I would have to have like some sort of affiliation with Duolingo. Like they'd have to agree to like sponsor me or something if I if I twerked. Pretend to learn all languages and make a video about it. I could do that. I could do that. I could do that. That would get a lot of hate for people who don't know me. Constructed language on your own? I don't know. No one would learn it. Dance for 100 minutes straight? I would probably die. 100 ways to say hi to everyone. Omega Live? That's how I get banned. Touch grass for 100K? Introduce yourself in Portuguese? Do Hindi for 100 language? Make a hyperpolyglot gigachad course? Bolsonaro tattoo? If I was given, why can't we merge the owl and Kaufman? That would be a beautiful sight. 24 hour crunker live stream, that'd be great. If you're lacking, if you're laughing from a smiak, I'm not going to prepare for the next joke. Go to a country and speak the language. I can't travel. I'm banned from traveling from the US. It's illegal. Shock Chinese people speaking perfect Chinese. Play Super Smash Bros. Melee for $500. I mean, if you give me $500, I'll play it, I guess. Uh, is that how you say that, Ivan? I don't know. Go to Boulevard Riyadh. I would love to go to Saudi Arabia. Uh, Saudi. Change your name to GigaChad69. Alright, let me know what you guys think of, uh, of this idea. I kind of want to make almost like lang focused style videos discussing languages, but serious but you know with my little twist like serious serious facts and stuff but you know being myself can you move up estonian for money all right let's move on let's do the uh let's do the country quiz now i'm gonna have to kind of position my mic and stuff so don't get mad at me if uh if it makes some noise if it makes some noises all right holy shit this one we did this last time i was on stream and it was pretty decent I, but we did not win we absolutely did not win. So let's give it a go. I have to name, I have to just type every single country on the planet. And I'm going to need you guys to spam countries that I don't get. Don't troll me though. Because if you troll me, I'm going to get confused. Like if you keep typing something that I clearly already have on the list, we are not going to succeed. So get ready. How, how long do we have? I think we have, let's see how long we have. Uh, 15 minutes. Oh, shit, that's not what I want. All right. We have 15 minutes. Don't don't spam countries yet. Let me wait till I start. I'm going to start with a uh, I'm going to start with North and South America. I need your guys help for the islands, okay? I can't go alphabetical order. There's no way I'll be able to do that. But I need your guys help with the the islands. I'm going to just start it. Let's just go. Oh shit, I got to type it up here. Canada, United States. We're going North America here. Um, Mexico. Uh, okay, shit. Now if I like scroll up, it goes uh, Honduras. Fuck. Um, Belize. Oh shit. Guatemala. Shit. How do you spell it, dude? Guatemala. Oh, I'm already screwing up. El Salvador. Nicaragua. Costa Rica. Tell me if my mic moving is too annoying. Panama. Cuba. Alright, I need your guys' help now. Suriname. Grenada. Antigua. These are things I don't know. Dominican Republic. Oh, well, I know that, but... Jamaica, did I say that? Nice. Uh. Oh, shit. Bahamas, did I say that? St. Vincent. Saint Kitts. All right, what else? What are we missing? What are we missing, guys? Uruguay. I haven't really done South America very much yet. All right, let's do Brazil. Argentina. Peru. Bolivia. Paraguay. Chile. Ecuador. Colombia. Venezuela. What are these two countries down here that I'm forgetting? Haiti. Good call. What's that other country there next to the Dominican Republic or whatever? Or I don't know. What, what's that other? 
Barbados. What are those two in South America? Guyana? What's the other one? No, that's just France, right? Yeah. What's that other thing down there on the freaking over here? What is that? Why is no one saying what this is? Guys, come on. Did I not put Dominican? Yes, I did. Trinidad? Guys, we have one in the S. Please spam that while I move to Europe. Uh, Denmark. I'm going to spam that while I move to Europe so I get it. Oh my goodness. All right, we can do this, I think. UK, Ireland. St. Lucia? Thank you, guys. Exactly what I needed. All right, what are these stupid micronations? Liechtenstein. Oh, I got it. Luxembourg. Iceland. We're not doing bad, guys. Italy. San Marino. Vatican. Switzerland. I think that we could beat it. Czechia. Slovakia. Austria. Hungary. Slovenia. Croatia. Bosnia. Kosovo, Montenegro, oh, how do you spell it? Albania, Macedonia, Greece, Romania, Moldova. I see some of your comments. Thank you, guys. Serbia, uh, Bulgaria. What am I missing? What am I missing in Europe? Someone tell me if I'm missing something in Europe. Am I? Oh, shit, I am. Albania? What's what's between that? I'm missing a few, guys. Malta? What else am I missing? In Europe. I already got Vatican. I already got it. Andorra. I already got Moldova. What do you... Look at the map. I already got Andorra. Oh, it's just a delay. That's why. Uh, let's go to Kazakhstan. Uh, Mongolia, Taiwan, China, Japan, North Korea. I think we could beat it, guys. I think we could actually beat it this time. Oh, I already got it. What do you call it? Oh, I already got it. I'm an idiot. What the hell is that country that I'm forgetting there? Nepal. Ah, oh, what is that country I'm forgetting there? Turkmen? I already did that. I didn't miss Uruguay. Why are you guys just typing shit? That I got the Dominican Republic, didn't I? Oh, I didn't get that before. Because I didn't type it all. Thank you. I'm an idiot. All right. What else have I missed? There? I don't know. Let's go to... Guys, I really want to beat this. We're almost halfway through like uh, the time. We can do this, though. I'm going to need your help more when I get to the when I get to the hard ones here. Like I'll be there soon. Um Like once I stop getting them here, like I'm stop rapidly doing it, I'm going to need you guys help.
Easy. How do you spell Burundi or whatever? Shit. People type that please say shell. I always don't know the alphabet. They're the freaking alphabets. The islands around around it. So please tell me those. Shit. A Burundi? Oh, that's how you spell it. Thank you. How do you spell it? Tell me the islands, please, guys. Fuck. Mauritius. We're almost there, guys. Shit. What am I missing down here, guys? What am I missing, guys? Maldives, thank you. That's the type of shit I don't get. Guys, we're only like 20 away. We got this. Come on. Angola, what else am I missing down there? I literally suck. Come on, please. Swaziland. Angola, I got... Uh, Zambia. Come on, guys. Come on. Comoros. Canary Islands. Is that a country? Malawi. Isn't that how you spell it? Oh, that's how you spell it. Botswana? What's that last one down there? Namibia. Is that all of Africa? Alright, I don't know. Now we just have to look at this, honestly. We're missing some in Asia, guys. We're missing a lot in Oceania. I don't know any of the islands and shit. I need help with Oceania and shit. Some Asians. A lot of Oceania. It just looks like Asia and Oceania, guys. Come on. Kuwait. Good call, good call. Micronesia. Good call. Lebanon. Kribati. Is that a country? I never heard that. East Timor. Solomon Islands. Guys, we're so close. We only got 12 more. We got this. Bahrain. Isn't that a country? What? Qatar. 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 How do you spell it? Brunei. Thank you. Vanuatu, Singapore, Fiji, good call. You guys could type anything and get me to type anything at this point. Monaco, I forgot, good call. Uh, Marshall Islands, we got this dude. Good call, Kiribati guy. Tonga, never heard of that. Cocos, what? New Caledonia, is that a country? I'm getting trolled. UAE, I already put. Guys, we only need two more. Come on, what are we missing? All right, we got four minutes. So let's calm down. They're both in Oceania, so no trolling, guys. Tuvalu? I thought I put that. Oh, I didn't. One more. Holy shit, we did not get it last time, dude. I'm sorry I was so focused, but I have to be. Oh. What is it? What's the last one? Oh, I'm getting way too many of these. It's got to be this. <laughs> Dude, I can't. Yes. Whew. That was all me. That was literally all me. I just proved that I'm able to successfully guess. Not guess, but I was able to just come up off the top of my head with no help. Every single country on the planet I was able to come up with. Me. That was me. That is crazy. I'm literally a geo god. Geo wizard. I'm changing my channel name at 100k to geo wizard. How did I do that? I'm a god. I'm literally a hyper polyglot giga chat alpha male.
I was not reading the chat. What do you mean? I did that alone. Why are you guys being weird? Uh, I did that all myself. Thank you. All right. Geo Wizard collab. That'd be great. Dude, I'm almost at 100 mil subs. This is crazy. All right. I'm going to leave in like three minutes. So let's just wind down. Oh, good win though, guys. Thank you. I'm very tired. I had to go get groceries. I have nothing to eat, nothing to drink, anything. Oh, this was the final uh, tier list if you weren't here before. The tier list of what I want to learn. So tired. Two hours of me screaming at my computer. Get this man to 100 mil. Do it. If you're not subscribed already, what the hell are you doing? <laughs> Bravo, Jean Padouan. I'm sorry, Evan. I have to leave here in a minute. I've got to go to the store. I don't have food. I will have food very shortly, and that'll be very nice because I like to eat. Why eat or drink when you can learn geography? So you're saying I should just fast? Those multiple five dollars will get you something? Yes, for sure. Will the stream be archived? Yeah, it'll probably just be on a probably be on my channel. Make blanket with all flags for 100k. That is the most 100. That is the most boring 100k celebration ever. You're fasting. That's cool. Why is nobody donating? People donated before. No one needs to donate, brother. <clears throat> I don't get to eat until you help me with the island until you admit that I helped you with the islands. Alright, I'll admit you guys helped me. Why eat when you can be a Giga Chad that's attractive to every woman and man on the planet? I have to eat. A Giga Chad has to eat. Armenian started going started as maybe and ended up going to already planning. It would be funny if we got Armenian all the way up to already speak. That'd be very comical. Make a flag of all countries, NFT for 100 k That would be comical. Imagine people just uh, bought it. People were like Someone bought it for like six trillion dollars. It's Ramadan, don't eat. I am not a Muslim. I'd like to fast at least one day in Ramadan. That'd be cool. Karen Minnesotan. No, I can't. Eat the Duolingo owl for 100k. Should I like go capture an owl, dye it green, and eat it? Did you know that Orthodox Christians have end of fasting tomorrow? I did not. I don't know anything about that. Why'd you put Portugal flag if the language spoken there is Brazilian? I did not pick these flags. I just found this on the tier making website. So all right, I was just given 20 check dollars or whatever. And, uh, and I was also told to make informative content. You cuck. That was very kind of you. Uh, I guess I have to move check up for you gave me a dollar United States dollars and I'll move check up for that. That's the bar is low. But I appreciate it. Alguna vez has visitado España? No, desafortunadamente, pero me encantaría. Why no Muslim? I don't know, man. I grew up in the U.S. Everyone knows Uzbek is the most Chad language. I agree. God, I'm going to fall asleep. All right, I'm leaving in three minutes big bob i will make informative content about languages i promise you're gonna see it i actually have some plans coming up in the future you'll see you didn't raise check yeah i did i just raised oh i didn't raise check i put it from want to learn to want to learn my bad all right check is now i already uh i already plan to learn why did you decide to learn brazilian portuguese instead of european portuguese because I studied Spanish from Spain and it's kind of a pain having to focus on only that content ignoring Latin America and I didn't want to do that again for Brazilian. All right, Unity said move finish up two. I can't move finish up two for two euros. I can move finish up one for two euros and for three euros move Latvian to would be cool. Is this Latvian? I think, right? Thank you. <laughs> Second planning to learn while Polish at maybe. Yeah. Things move. Sleep stream? I can't sleep. I need to go buy food. Your Danish sounds like a Swede mocking Danes. Uh, yeah, but all the Danish people know that I will not, that I'm not doing that, that I'm genuinely just trying to learn Danish. Um, so you want to copy Lang folks' content? No, I want to do it in a different way. Not copy him at all. It wouldn't be similar. I just use it as like a general inform informative, like one video about each language, but like, it's gonna be it's gonna be different. I was just told that I hit ninety seven K that it's hype. Are we going to um Are we going to What was I even replying to? I'm so tired. Oh we're gonna hit a hundred million. 
Yeah, man, your dance is good. Keep it up, dude. Thanks, I appreciate it. Can you make a parody video about El Iraq for twenty dollars? I can't promise a video for anything. Isabella, you'll learn American if I call her name. Hello, Isabella. Why did you learn American when I was like two? Do the eye thing. It's just natural. It just happens. Move Swedish down. I can't do that. Play GeoGuessr. I will on a future stream. Welcome to Lang Focus Channel, and my name is Language Simp. Open language class for 100k. What do you want me to teach you? American? I could teach GigaChat American for two thousand dollars a a course. Lang Focus is cool. I I like Lang Focus. Cuckoo, can you suggest some resources for learning French? Yes, I will type in the chat. Um, actually. Just typed in the chat for you. What's the flag between Georgian and Bosnian? Let me try to find it. I don't know, I can't see because I got a Carlos Ferreras. Your Mexican is so bad, move it down to learning. That really hurts my feelings, but you gave me money for it. Carlos, quiero mejorar mi mexicano, pero no puedo hacerlo. Me parece demasiado difícil. Es demasiado, demasiado difícil, tío. Estoy muy cansado. Do a Xiaoman NYC cosplay at 100k? That would be funny, but I don't know how I would dress up as that guy. El simp no tiene emociones. Es verdad. Ugh. How to find rare podcasts or something you're listening to? I don't know what you mean. If the language you're learning is rare, there's still probably podcasts and it's just harder to find. Met le masque de Vladi Dadi, s'il te plaît. Non, je peux pas. Je suis désolé. Speak Honduran? No, pero hablo mexicano. No puedo. Speak every language at 100k? That's not a bad idea. I know you're satire, mais t'es la seule raison pour que j'ai commencé. Pourquoi j'ai commencé à apprendre français autre vez, tío? Que bueno, pues. Buena suerte. Bon chance, tu vas améliorer ton français, tu vas réussir, je te jure. You gay with your daddy? What the hell kind of question is that, Reed? I swear on my life, for 100k, eat the Duolingo owl. I could, I could, I could buy, I could probably get owl or something and then cook it and dye it green. Whoever just asked if I'm really learning Armenian, uh, that would be difficult to, uh, to explain to you what's going on. Suggest some Russian and Ukrainian podcasts. I don't know any any Ukrainian ones, but I love the channel and podcast Russian Progress. There's a guy called Artyom Nazarov on YouTube. Um, yeah. S'il te plaît, un autre épisode Omegle français. Oui, dans le futur. On va voir. Il faut apprendre la langue de l'Écosse. Peut-être dans le futur, je sais pas. For 100k, buy an Esperanto flag and burn it. I feel like there's like a hundred things. Like, should I do like a hundred language memes for 100k subscribers? I can learn how, so maybe one day. We'll see. What's your favorite dialect of the American language? Probably Palestinian. Une partie de Megul, ce serait chouette. Oui, oui, dans le futur, tu vas voir. Ve tank du on Duolingo. Dear God. Ben, dear mal for it. Puedes hablar argentino, no, porque hablo mexicano con un acento español. I, I'm leaving, don't die when going to your local Walmart. I probably won't, but I'm a little tired. Uh, si vous parlez français, oui, je parle français. How to catch native shock, gossiping and shock them with fluency. Just stage it and make videos. People put a lot of effort into hating Esperanto. Yeah, it's kind of dog water. All right, I'm leaving in one minute. This is a one minute warning. Say goodbye. Honestly, leave and say goodbye. Don't stay, because then I feel guilty. Just leave now, say goodbye, and then leave. It's been a pleasure. I enjoyed the stream, but I got really freaking tired all of a sudden. How do you feel about being so close to 100K? I have wanted to be on YouTube for a really long time. And to get 100K on YouTube means that I have successfully succeeded in the one thing that I've always wanted to do. So if that, if that gives you an idea then that's good. But yeah, say goodbye. Have a good day. It's been a pleasure. We'll see if I eat the owl. Bye, most attractive man. Appreciate it. Are you pregnant? I'm not. Not yet. Whew. You're fat? Uh, kinda. 
Sing a quick lullaby in a foreign language. Oh, thank you for the two euros, homie. Wow, I'm actually 50 cents away from making a very nice even amount of money on the stream. All right, because you sent me that two euros, though, I will sing you a quick lullaby in a foreign language. Uh, I need to look up the... Uh, no, uh, I need to look up the lyrics real quick for part of this because I only know the first part. One sec. All right, I'm going to sing you a lullaby. Dominique, Nique, Nique s'en allait tout simplement. Routier, pauvre et chantant. En tout chemin, en tout lieu, il ne parle que du bon Dieu. Il ne parle que du bon Dieu. À l'époque, Jean sans terre d'Angleterre était le roi. Dominique, notre père, quand bâtit les herbes et joies. Dominique, Nique, Nique s'en allait tout simplement. Routier, pauvre et chantant. En tout chemin, en tout lieu, il ne parle que du bon Dieu, il ne parle que du bon Dieu. Certains jours, un hérétique par dérance. Le... I never heard that part of the song, it's confusing. All right, another one. Allons, enfants de la patrie, le jour de gloire est arrivé. Contre nous de la tyrannie, les tendances sanglantes élevées. Les tendances sanglantes élevées. Entendez-vous dans les compagnes, mugir ces féroces soldats. Ils viennent jusque dans nos bras, égorger nos fils, nos compagnes. Aux armes, citoyens, formez vos bataillons. Marchons, marchons, quinze à un pur. <laughs> it's pretty good. Pretty good anthem. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light. It's a shame that Russia had to become... I mean, that's not their country. It's just Putin and stuff. But, like, it's a shame that I can't sing their national anthem because it feels wrong right now. Because I, I do think it's a beautiful anthem. But they're not doing too great of things as a country right now. Okay. Goodbye. I don't know why I suck at ending this. I have to go. Goodbye. It's been a pleasure.